Hey everybody, it's me, your old pal Dan Classic, and we're back this week with even more Dreadnoughts! Specifically, Zartan's brother and sister, Xandar and Zarana! Oh, hey! And speaking of siblings, Gorilla, don't you have a brother named Buford? No, Jess, Buford is my cousin. Oh, that's right! Buford's your cousin! It was his parents that were brother and sister. <laughs> Will you be serious, Jess? Raz Holly, hit the music! It's, it's almost like he's like a noodle. Is it 1987 yet? Nope, it's still 1986, and there are more Dreadnoughts in the line to cover for this year. In an effort to capitalize on the popularity of Zartan, and with this ridiculous file card, it's hard to understand why! Hasbro introduces two siblings to the Zartan clan, Xandar and Zarana. Hubba hubba! It's about time we had a sexy female character on the show. Whoa, whoa, easy there, Jess. You don't want to get me in trouble again. Oh, don't worry about me, Gorilla. Ha <laughs> ha. I ain't got time to breed. Okay, with that over with, let's go ladies first and take a look at the file card for Zoran. So right off the bat, one of the first things you notice on both of these fuckers' file cards is in bold print saying Zartan's sister and Zartan's brother. Oh, and that was the most interesting thing you could come up with! And another thing, do they have to make them twins? I mean, no offense to any twins out there, but in fiction, twins are always super creepy. And what's even worse, when the siblings are of opposite sex, and sometimes when they're not, they give them some creepy as fuck sexual undertones to their relationship. Like these two assholes. But let's save that for another episode. So the file card goes on to say Zorana is a professional assassin. Cool. Who gains access to her victims through skillful acting and use of makeup and disguise. Alright, makes sense. It goes on to say she's an expert in small arms, explosives, and edge weapons. Now we're talking! We might finally have a Dreadnought file card that doesn't completely suck ass! Zorana could have had a brilliant career on the stage if the evil in her nature hadn't been so strong. Okay, that still makes sense. Let's find out how her evil nature kept her off the stage. She throws tantrums, cuts ahead on lines, and never leaves a tip. The card goes on to tell the tale of how she went undercover as a dental hygienist, for some reason, and garroted people with special dental floss. Oh, what the fuck? You were doing so well! Well, why did you have to fuck it up at the end with the, with the line cutting and the goddamn dental floss? Fuck! Fuck! I can't! I just can't! Okay, like always, let's check out why I actually like these fucking things. The action figure. Okay, from 1986, here's Zorana. And uh, here she is in all of her glory. Give her a full turnaround here so you can see the entire figure. She is got Zartan's arms. And so does her brother. <laughs> they just repainted this arm part. And honestly, that part kind of makes her look weird. Because on the other female figures, you've got more of a, uh, you know, female shape. And it almost looks like her legs. I know that her legs are original pieces, but they almost look like dude legs um, when you look at them. So it kind of gives her a weird sort of mismatch, mismatched shape. Kind of like wide shoulders, but like this tiny torso and I don't know, so she looks kind of boxy or whatever. Also, 
If you notice her face, this isn't the one with the earrings, obviously. The one with the earrings came first. Um, I think the one with the earrings actually looks better than this one. This one was supposed to be the improvement. They had the one with the earrings, and they thought, nope, doesn't look feminine enough. And they made the change, and this is what we got. Okay, um, I don't see that it's any more feminine at all. She has the basic articulation for G.I. Joe's from 1986. You know what that does, you know, you got the different points, she's got the swivel arm, all that good stuff. Um, and so she comes with these accessories. She's got this little red backpack. And it goes on her back like so. Now I don't know, and maybe you can answer this for me in the comments, does this backpack go this way, or does it go the other way? I see because it's got like a flat bottom, I feel like it goes this way, but it could go the other way with the, uh, with whatever this is, a grenade or something upside down? I don't know if it's upside down. I don't know, because it kind of looks upside down, and then when you put it this way though, there's this flat top. So that's kind of weird too. So this could actually be the right side up. So let me know in the comments, which way does the backpack go? Anyway, and she comes with this. This is her weapon. It is a uh, spinning blade on the end of a rifle. And I don't even know, like there's a trigger guard here. And um, there's some I think, various stuff. So it looks like this is the actual the end of a rifle. Maybe this is rigged up, like it's homemade sort of thing. And they, they somehow have attached this device that is a spinning blade on the end of a rifle to use for, I don't know, breaking gigaws or something. It's got some like plates here that looks like it was uh, repaired or welded on there, or maybe bolted on there. Um, I don't understand why that would be. And look, I'm not a gun guy, I don't understand this. Maybe this exists in real life, probably not. Let me know in the comments, who gives a shit? Anyway, that's Zorana, and I think she's pretty great. One more thing about Zorana. Look at her face, it looks small. I like the face on the original one, the, the original earringed one, the one with the earrings, is actually more feminine looking and looks more like the fucking figure on the cover art. This one, I have no idea what they're trying to accomplish. She has this little like hair piece that's obviously a, you know, an add-on here. It's like it's been glued on to the top of her head. <laughs> and you know, if you're gonna make a brand new figure, why not just make a brand new figure? If you didn't like the, you know, the head or whatever, how about we make some tweaks? We give her some, give her her own shoulders for crying out loud. I mean, cause look at this. What is this? This is just a sleeve, just a hanging sleeve that she's got on her arm. I mean, it's not the weirdest thing that the Dreadnoughts wear. Um, but let's take a look at her outfit. She's got this sort of like half shirt thing with a red strap coming around there like when she's wearing the backpack it kind of seems like it's almost the strap from the backpack but what it is it's a holster that holds a, uh, a handgun it looks like or a knife but there's nothing in it so I um, mean either she used that already it was like a throwing knife or something she's got a matching red belt and a red uh, strap with the uh, the sheathed uh, knife or dagger right here on the leg she's got these really kick-ass boots let's take this off of here and you can see um, these are really cool looking. I remember as a kid thinking that these, this was a really cool uh, feature to this figure with the spurs. Like, so, I mean, like, they kind of went full board on the biker thing because she has the, uh, the leather uh, uh, insides of the pants so that she does not get chafed as she rides the motorcycle. Her and her brother are featured on the art of the uh, tricycle. So um, she's the, uh, the gunner on the tricycle, at least in the, uh, in the cover art there, or the box art. And she's got some uh, pink tights, or, or her leg is severely miscolored and coincidentally matches her shirt. And, uh, and then, so that's that's it for Zorana. She's a really cool figure. Unfortunately, mine doesn't change color in the sun anymore. It has been too long. And uh, they, like they kind of do, but they don't really. They, they kind of like turn like a gray color. Back in the day, they used to turn like a dark blue. And they were really, really cool looking back in the day when they would change color. Nowadays, I think, I don't know what happens. It's sort of a photo sensitive or a light sensitive material or heat sensitive material. And over the years, it just gets old and doesn't work anymore. 
This particular figure was discontinued in 1988, but was re-released with different paint and accessories, along with some others, as a 2004 convention exclusive. Oh wow! I would love to get my hands on those! But because they were convention exclusives like 14 years ago, they're super fucking expensive! Anyway, let's check out the file card for Xander! Again, we have in bold print, Zartan's brother, Xander, Xandar, Xand, whatever. The card says he's a master of camouflage and covert movement. It basically describes him as a master of stealth, which would have been great and would have been better than going on to say that teachers forgot he was there and nobody cares to remember him after they meet. Well, how fucking sad. It also says that he uses this as an advantage. But with Sad Boy Xandar, Mental Illness Zartan, and Illiterate Torch, I'm more apt to feel sorry for the Dreadnoughts. And that's not really what you want to shoot for in your villains, because it makes the good guys look like bullies. But whatever, let's see what makes this sad sack so special, the action figure. And so also from 1986, here is the sad boy, Xandar. Um, he is pretty cool looking, actually. And in his character could have been all right. Um, the problem was is that they made him, you know, just kind of a wiener, honestly. It's like, oh, I'm sad. Nobody likes me. <laughs> but he could have been really cool. He's got the, pa uh, the pink uh, scarf to match his sister. He's also wearing Xandar's sleeves. Or not Xandar's sleeves. Zartan's sleeves. Um, and just sleeves, by the way, because they're not attached to this uh, uh, gun belt he's wearing around his chest. Um, the shoulder holster, if you will. Um, it is a cool look, but yeah, this these arm things are weird um, as they were. He's got some tattoos or body paint or something. He's got some lightning bolts on the chest. Also has some uh, some face paint there on the on the face, the red streaks across the face. The signature red hair, blue headband. Also got a dagger on the leg, just like his sister. His boots. Got some motorcycle boots on. Um, they're pretty cool. Um, here's an interesting thing about this figure and Zartan and his sister Zarena. These figures were glued shut. You've got this screw here, but you can take the screw out and it does fuck all. You cannot open this figure up. It is glued shut. There are ways to do it, and I am interested to find out because I would love to change this O-ring. Look at it. Look how loosey-goosey he is. Um, he's going to, you know... That thing's gonna pop off at any minute, and I would like to save it and change this fucking, uh, change this O-ring. So, if you can help me out in the comments, let me know if there's a way to change this sad boy's O-ring. And uh, I'm, I'm figuring I'm gonna try to boil them. I might buy some, like, ones that are already sort of broken or missing, missing their little dick piece or whatever it is, and I will figure it out. Hey, look, interesting thing on Xandar, he's got earrings. They didn't feel like this wasn't feminine enough and give him a different character or anyway. And I actually like the look of him. I think he's pretty cool. He comes with this guy right here. It is a quiver of arrows. Um, they may be explosive arrows. We don't know. And they go on his back like so. I mean, I guess they could also go like this. I, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> Probably not. Let me know in the comments, which way does the backpack go? Anyway, take a look at this. This is his rifle. I guess this is where we use that ammunition. It's got a scope on it. It's like a sniper rifle. They kind of established that he is a sniper or stealthy guy. So it makes sense that he has this kind of sniper rifle. And it's got one of the arrows sticking out of the front there. So um, even if they are explosive arrows, he's, he's uh, made to be a little bit more stealthy. He's, uh, you know, blends in with the shadows and stuff, and he looks pretty cool holding the rifle, too. Um, you don't want to be too rough with these things. Their thumbs tend to fall off and shit. But speaking of that, I'd like to find one without the thumbs that has, you know, his, him intact that no one's ever tried to pop open because I want to give it a shot, and I'll make a video about it. But anyway, that's Sandar the Sad Boy. woo -hoo. Oh, please, somebody fix my O-ring. woo -hoo 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 -hoo. 
this figure was also discontinued in 1988, and nobody seemed to notice. All right, that's the show for this week, and stay tuned next week for our very special and first 4th of July special. I love the 4th of July, Gorilla. Fireworks, hot dogs, patriotism. America is the greatest country, and it's so great to live here. It's the best holiday of the year, Gorilla. That's great, Jess. I'm looking forward to seeing you again next week. Well, I can't make it. I'll be out of the country next week. What the fuck? Oh, what? Whatever. Anyway, I hope I see you guys next week for our 4th of July special. Anyway, Raz Holly, hit the music! Shut up, dude.